with a lot of rapid growth businesses lately and rapid growth is seen as the holy grail by many business owners. Like, like the holy grail, however, it's elusive with many new businesses failing within the first year. It appears that the HR challenges associated with rapid growth are significant and few organisations manage to navigate them successfully. The difficulty lies in the fact that business owners need to plan for the unknown. They then need to change the plan rapidly and consistently without notice. And they must accomplish this with limited finances, no time and a burgeoning and demanding workforce. So let's go into that in a bit more detail. There are two key factors that create the greatest HR challenges when undergoing a period of growth. Both are associated with change. They are the speed of change and the fact that the change is constant. Investigation shows that business owners can't keep up with planning. They don't have the capacity to cope with the increased client demand. The quality of the product or people performance suffers. Systems, policies and processes rapidly become irrelevant or inadequate. And lack of management capability quickly becomes evident. These factors coupled with the increased complexity of a larger workforce results in discontent and inner turmoil, an increase in staff turnover, recruitment beyond the capacity to train, employee development falling by the wayside, an increased workload creating burnout, poor performance leading to disengagement and insufficient communication creating uncertainty. If an organisation's expansion plan incorporates growth into state, this geographic dimension adds another level of complexity as, as it imposes two additional challenges, distraction and dilution. The business owner will be distracted from their original business, spending time and financial resources on getting to and catering for the demands of geographically diverse markets. Combine this with an uncertain economic environment and volatile market conditions, and it begs the question, why would anyone want to grow their business? In fact, some business owners find that the problems generated through growth do not justify the growth itself and subsequently choose a pathway to limit their growth or scale down their operation. Many more businesses find they cannot navigate these challenges successfully and their business fails altogether. But for some people, the holy grail of growth is worth pursuing. So if you're one of those people, here are some recommendations for how to best mitigate these challenges and grow a successful business. The best approach to the HR challenges which present during periods of rapid growth is to build an organisation agile enough to manage this rapid and constant change. Building such an organisation can be achieved through four key components. Planning, communication, capability, and future-proofing. Planning starts with ensuring that the people strategy aligns with the business strategy. The vision of what the change will create must be clear, milestones need to be measurable, must be tracked and their achievements celebrated. Planning incorporates talent management and ensures the creation of new roles where necessary and succession into key roles is required, ensuring these roles don't become person-specific. Planning by itself doesn't mean that you're prepared, but it does provide a level of preparedness to better set you up for success. Secondly, a sound communication framework is essential when creating an organisation that will cope with rapid growth. Incorporated in the communication framework is the means for you to convey your vision and the progress the team are making towards this vision. Not only does it provide you with a metaphorical soapbox, it houses the agenda for regular updates, potential impacts and an employee temperature check. During rapid change, communication must be constant. Creating a capable, supported and engaged team is the third key factor that will assist you in mitigating the HR challenges associated with rapid growth. In order to achieve sustained growth, you need to step away from doing the doing and concentrate on the strategic aspects of growing the business. This means a review of the organisational structure to ensure the team is well supported, as well as a formalisation of the systems, policies and procedures to remove any ambiguity and ensure onboarding is effective. An employee training and development programme is required to focus on building capability across the team. Measures to encourage employee engagement should also be undertaken, such as determining the employee value proposition and reviewing the rewards system. It's at this point that your team must be encouraged to perform as a cohesive unit, striving towards a common goal 
rather than silos in pursuit of individual targets. Where change is not only rapid but also relentless, stamina is vital for success. For this reason, the capability component also encompasses wellness, taking into account the inevitable fatigue factor associated with rapid growth. The final component necessary to build an organisation agile enough to manage rapid and constant change is future-proofing. Future-proofing is different to planning, where planning determines an end goal and works out how to get there. Future-proofing monitors the pathway to the end goal and the context in which the end goal sits to determine if the goalposts might need to move. Future-proofing looks at how mega trends might affect you, your client base and your employees and adjusts the game plan before the business is negatively impacted. Future-proofing means your business doesn't become obsolete just after you've got it where you want it. So in summary, with rapid growth comes rapid and continuous change. You need to build an agile business, which is the result of proper planning, regular communication, fostering of employee capability and future-proofing. Agile organisations are positioned such that they benefit from the opportunities their uncertain future presents, rather than having to focus entirely on the associated risks. If you'd like some assistance on how we can help manage the HR challenges associated with growth in your organisation, please contact us. We're great at this stuff and we'd love to help.